Hey family, it's your girl attorney Brunel Donald Shea. How you guys doing? Okay, so today we are going to dive into um, the book of Leviticus and it's going to be Leviticus 1, 1 through 9 and it reads, Then the Lord summoned Moses and spoke to him from the tent of meeting. Speak to the Israelites and tell them, when any of you bring an offering to the Lord from the livestock, you may bring your offering from the herd or from the flock. If his gift is a burnt offering from the herd, he is to bring an unblemished male. He must bring it to the entrance to the tent of meeting so that he may be accepted by the Lord. He is to lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering so it can be accepted on his behalf and make atonement for him. He is to slaughter the bull before the Lord. Aaron's sons and priests are to present the blood and sprinkle it on all sides of the altar that is at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Then he must skin the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. The sons of Aaron, the priest, will prepare a fire on the altar and arrange wood on the fire. Aaron's sons and priests are to arrange the pieces, the head and the sweat on top of the burning wood of the altar. The offerer must wash its entrails and shanks with water. Then the priest will burn all of it on the altar as a burnt offering, a fire offering of a pleasing aroma to the Lord. That's Leviticus 1, 1 through 9. Now, whew, I tell you, when I when I'm I'm just kind of diving into the book of Leviticus. Um again, this is not my first time going through Leviticus, but I'm refreshing going back through it again. And I tell you, imagine. Imagine what people had to do in order to just be forgiven. To just be able to even have the Lord come and say, You're forgiven. To have the Lord even look your way. Look at what had to be done. And I think about all that ritual and practice that was necessary um, in order to find a pleasing aroma for the Lord. And I think about us Christians today, you know, people who are followers of Christ, who are saved by his blood, saved by his finished work on the cross of Calvary. Jesus is the sacrifice. He is unblemished, just like these, these animals were expected to be. He is a pleasing aroma that was sacrificed on the altar before God on our behalf. Imagine going into Leviticus 2 and, and so forth, you start reading about how, okay, then you're, you know, they're bringing forth um, birds and they're bringing forth um, sheep and goats and other animals. And they would have to be of the same kind of a ritual, a way to, you know, to skin the animal and to carve the animal and to cut the animal and all of these things before it could be a pleasing um, aroma before the Lord. And so I just thank the Lord, God, that he has delivered us from that um, slaughtering of animals and grains and things like that, you know, being offered up when the body of Christ was offered up for our on our behalf. We are so blessed that we don't have to go through the things that was that 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 had to happen in Leviticus. You know, the Lord Jesus laid down his life for us. He took all the beating, he took all the hate, took all the spitting, the bruises, the kicking, the destruction of his physical body. The disrespect of him just was on another level that we will, God forbid, ever have to experience. But he did that for us. He was the perfect sacrifice, the blessed sacrifice. He did thy kingdom come, thy will be done. He did what it took in order to be a pleasing aroma to the Lord. And so it, it, it makes me understand that, you know, Jesus's death was a serious business. It was a serious act, not only just a great act of compassion and kindness and blessing for us, 
but it took away that ritual, that ritual of having to go before God, um, like this once a year and atone and, and things like that. Um, like many of the priests had to do for the people. And it made me understand that Jesus was just so perfect and such an amazing offering and gift to the Lord. And I'm so grateful that in order for us to be forgiven, all we have to do is go before the Lord, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, go before the Lord, ask for forgiveness, repent of our sins. Pray before him, bless him, just let him know how sorry we are. And, you know, just accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. His blood is the answer. His blood, his blood is the righteousness. His sacrifice on Calvary is all of these things that these people did in one cutting up pieces of animals, skinning them, burning them, um, dealing with them this way or that way. Jesus came to cover all of that, to destroy all of that. And he simply became the sacrifice. We go before the Lord. So sometimes when we go before the Lord, we're like, oh, all right, let me do my ritual, Holy Mary, Father of thee, or, oh, bless you, Lord, amen, in Jesus' name, or, oh, glory be to God. Yeah, but we have to really understand that going before the Lord is serious business. If it wasn't serious business, there wouldn't have been any need for making sure the animal was unblemished, making sure that the animal was cut this way or that way, making sure that the blood was sprinkled and not poured, uh, making sure that the pieces did sat this way or that way. Going into God's presence is a serious thing, and it's something that we have to understand. It's not something to be taken lightly. God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Is something that is very serious. And sometimes when we get in the humdrum of life, we begin to go before the Lord without the reverence that he deserves. We go before him without the respect that he deserves. And we have to understand that our God is awesome. He is amazing. He is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, God of God, Judge of Judges. And he expects us to come into his presence with reverence and respect. And even I sometimes, you know, especially when I've had a rough day, long day, and, and I just, you know, go before the Lord and I'm just like, God, I just don't even know what to say. I thank you. I bless you. And I get in my bed. And that's rare, but it happens. And then I have to get back out my bed or I have to sit up a little more and say, Lord, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for your goodness. Thank you so much for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your compassion. Father, thank you for hope. Thank you for strength. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for sustaining me. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for making a way out of the way. Thank you for being my shield. Thank you for being my rampart. Thank you for being my buckler. I have to just go in and remind you know, not remind God because he knows who he is, but remind myself, hey, this is God. This is God. You don't go before him willy nilly. And so um, today, just going into Leviticus, I'm, I'm going to finish Leviticus hopefully this week. But going into it just now, just even understanding the levels that people had to go just to be in the presence of the Lord, just to know the Lord and how God, Jesus just came and washed all that away for us to just go before the Lord and on the strength of Jesus's name and his finished work and, you know, pray, ask forgiveness, pray for others and, you know, come on out in Jesus name. Amen. And so let's be grateful for what Jesus did on the cross for us. Let's be grateful that we, in my opinion, have it so easy um, with Christ just to go before the Lord and 
his kingdom come and his will be done and ask for what we need. And even though he already knows, but just to let him know that he is our king, that he is our provider, that he is our way out of no way, that we're totally 100% dependent upon him and wretched without him. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me today in this reading of Leviticus. Um, God bless you. God bless your family and God bless America. Make sure to like, share and subscribe um, with this video so that we can teach and uh, put out the good news of this um, gospel of the good news of the Bible um, to so many out there who don't know the Lord. God bless you. Bye for now.